the robot revolution is here. All right, folks, today we're diving into one of the hottest topics right now, China's new AI robot workforce. And trust me, these robots are about to change everything we know about automation. So China plans to produce over a million humanoid robots by 2025. It sounds impossible, but this is happening at lightning speeds right now. Imagine this, a factory, but not just with human workers. Oh no, this is a place where robots build robots. You heard that right. In some factories, robots are now assembling other robots. Think of it like a robot army, but with much better teamwork than most humans. And let's talk about the speed at which China makes these robots. We're not talking about slow and steady right now. These factories are running like they're on a deadline, increasing production to meet the insane 2025 deadline. And I have to admit, it's pretty impressive. They're testing the robots in all kinds of difficult environments, ensuring they are strong enough to handle everything. Whether it's stress or harsh weather, these robots are resilient enough to last through it all. But these robots are also designed with effort. Some of them have wheels at the bottom to zoom around homes and industries faster than any human could. These robots are also versatile. What is the U.S. doing in 2025? So now let's talk about the U.S., which has been surprisingly quiet about new robot projects. In one corner, we've got China, making robots like there's no tomorrow. In the other corner, well, we've got the US, still trying to barely catch up. Sure, the US has its robot initiatives, but they are nothing compared to China. This is because China is already faster, with more funding from companies like Huawei. Let's just say the race has begun to get to the top. Now, some people might say, well, the US is still ahead of everyone in AI, right? Maybe, but here's the thing. China is not just planning to catch up. They're racing ahead, taking risks, and producing at a rate that's got the rest of the world looking at them in awe. And just think about it. 10 years from now, we could have fully automated factories in China with humanoid robots running the factories themselves. One or two human managers Sure, but those robots are going to be the boss. But here's where things get juicy. This rise of robots isn't just about AI advancements or who has the better factory. This is about the future economy. So while we're all focused on the drama between the US and China, there's also a different kind of race happening. A race to see who's going to be the boss of robotics. And with the speed with which China is moving right now, they might just be the ones who win this ultimate race. But people are saying mixed reactions. People are talking about China's robot army. Some are excited, calling this the start of a new age of automation, where robots take on jobs humans never could. Some people are talking about the problems of job displacement. Some are even joking about how we might just be replaced by Chinese robots by 2030. And I have to agree, if this is what they are working on in 2025, God knows what kind of new tech will be available in a few years. But hey, whatever side you're on, it's clear that the debate is just getting started. Personal commentary. Here's my take. This is one of those moments where we're slowly watching history being made. Whether you love China's goal or hate the idea of robots, one thing's for sure. The future is here now in 2025. So which side are you on? Are you ready to embrace the rise of Chinese robots? Or are you hoping for the US to rise to the front? Let me know in the comments. This is gonna get interesting. And hey, if you wanna stay on top of the robot revolution, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss what's coming next.